Can you feel this, Rob? My goodness. Ready for football inside University of Phoenix Stadium. Glendale, Arizona. It's BYU and Arizona to finish up a heck of a day of college football. Coach and Rich Rodriguez 4-0 in season openers as the head coach at Arizona and beginning his fifth season tonight. On the other sideline, a first-time head coach, 40-year-old Kalani Sitaki, who grew up a BYU fan. And they went on to play fullback for Lavelle Edwards in the Cougars. And now he's the head coach. Especially when healthy. On second down at 10, he gets away from Francis Bernard, directing traffic and back-to-back -back throwaways, setting up third down. They rush only four on third and 10 and still get pressure. Solomon gets rid of it. But Butch Powell shuts it down. Wilson for a short gain, and it's fourth down. Line, it's the debut of Ty Detmer's offense, and it's headlined by the return of Taysom Hill and Jamal Williams. And BYU has an extreme advantage up front on their offensive line. They're going to utilize that and run the football, in particular with Jamal Williams. So Taysom Hill's back out there. And the 26-year-old's first pass is complete to Aulu Putu Tao. For As a player, and he talked about wanting to implement the West Coast offense. Give Taysom Hill some easy answers, easy pitches and catches. And as you can see, not necessarily in vogue in college football, but they actually huddle and they take their time and communicate. Williams motions out to an empty set. Hill steps away from pressure, and Taysom Hill... It looks like has it up for the first down with Paul McGlough from the 47. Williams surges forward behind that. Williams within about a nine with a within about 900 yards of the program record for career rushing yards. He takes the fake. Hill rolls and hits Tanner Baldery. First career catch for the tight end. Moves the. Arizona bringing it and getting home to Hill who steps out of it once but not twice. He sacks, loses three. For Brandon Dawkins this fall. This drive begins with a first run and it's Nick Wilson getting pulled down by Fred Warner for a loss. Second and third. Even though it was a somewhat of a disappointing season. They fake to Wilson and throw into traffic and it's incomplete. Micah Hanneman breaking it loose. No flag. Down in 13 for the Wildcats. Solomon steps up and throws for a first down and more across the 40. It's Trey Griffey. So first down and 15. Try to get a chunk back with Wilson, who's bounced to the outside, and Fred Warner's there to greet him with some help from Pau. This kid is talented. Fred Warner started with a penalty, put him in first and 15, then they lose one. So on second and 16, it's Solomon across his body. Completing to the 45. Griffey has his second. He decides to bring a little pressure. They bring it and get home. But Powell gets the sack and it's fourth down. We couldn't keep him off the field. We had to keep him at the inside linebacker position. And then when we moved Harvey Longy to defensive end, that was the guy who we needed to make sure was on the field because he was so productive and so versatile, being able to blitz. The coordinator, but he's going to do it against a scheme from BYU he's not sure exactly what he'll see he knew that he'd see a heavy dose of Jamal Williams part of his growth as well Arizona bringing pressure and they throw underneath to Jonah Trineman and Trineman with a quarterback in the run game as well it's Williams with a heavy dose and Williams spinning his way close to a first down it'll be third and one more Everybody packed in tight on third and one, and LG Brown, who was their leading rusher last year, with incompletion for Hill, second down and ten. Throwing the slant, Jonah Trineman has it. Highly touted. Wilson gets him some breathing room on a gain of five. More freely with the ball at the six. Wilson again hitting it hard. First down, Arizona. Kafusi now in the NFL with the Ravens, played at BYU. Solomon throwing perfect strike complete shy of the 20 Troy Solomon Can't get away Harvey Longy got to offensive end But that comes in handy on third down where you can utilize that speed and quickness around the edge after that injury out of an empty set 
Jonah Trinnaman needs a block. Didn't get it, but got close. A fullback. Williams has a first down and more. There goes Jamal Williams. He's back at BYU and inside the five. Flags come flying in near the end of the play. Illegal block in the back. Offense number 84. 10 yard penalty. Took it down. Arizona bringing pressure from that side. Taysom Hill pulls it out of the gut of Williams. Inside the 15. You can see him. Second down and goal. They fake to Williams and hit Tanner Baldery, who's toppled at the line. They sprint Hill on third and goal. He turns the shoulders and floats to the end zone incomplete. Attempt the 24 yarder. Boy, he skims it through there. I think somebody might have even gotten a piece. Defense. Safe bet Todd Graham is blitzing as we speak. A new Solomon avoids pressure and finds Craig Griffey. And yeah, Griffey. Kind of that next guy that they look to throw up go balls to. Get it in space, Samaj Grant. For a gain of four. Gave him five, second and five. Solomon rolls. Finds a window in the zone. It's Nate Phillips. And a first down to the 40. Michael Davis hits Phillips right away. And then Pau'u rallies. Hayden coverage for BYU. Solomon with tight windows to see through. To the sideline and picked off. That's Francis Bernard. Solomon just got too greedy. Bernard does a tremendous job of reading his eyes, extending to be able to get the football. Here's another look. And that's a linebacker. That's, that's a tremendous play. Mm -hmm. Outstretched like that, have the, those sorts of hands to make that play. First game at linebacker. <laughs> yeah, converted exactly. runnings for BYU have made the move. From the 35, they feed Williams, who's got a gaping hole and a first down to the 47. The right side of the offensive line. The Canuch, number 78, number 73, Lapuaho, just paving away for Williams. Well, you can drive a truck through that hole. Yeah, and you know, good size up there. But Brad Wilcox, two of their most experienced linemen, not available tonight for different reasons. Hill checks it down. There's Hunter Marshall, first career catch at BYU for the Juco transfer. Spally Canada comes in a running back for the first time. Hill over the middle has a wide open Colby Pearson spinning his way for a first down. Nice. On second down, it's a first down. Laulu Putu Tau sticking that shoulder pressure and backing off. On third down, Hill steps up, now scrambles and dumps it off. It's Williams fighting close to the first down, but a yard short. You can tell Bryce the attack was so fired up before the game. It almost seemed like he wanted to put a uniform on and get back out there. LG Brown, first down and goal, BYU. Riding that side side to 10. El Bakri straight ahead. And if you had him scoring the first touchdown of the season for BYU, you're probably the only one, and you're a winner. Well, and how appropriate. Kalana Sataki, a former fullback, he's got love for that position. And he misses the extra point. Mission on the defensive side for BYU today. They bring heat in rhythm. Solomon hits his man close to a first down. They've and gotten in sync. Play action. Zings it outside. Micah Hanneman drives it loose. They say that it was a catch and a fumble, and BYU's got it. There is a flag down as well. Ineligible player downfield. Offense number 64. Five yard penalty. Repeat first down. True freshman J.J. Taylor with his first career touch, and it goes nowhere. For second and 19 now. Solomon works out of an empty set. He steps up, over the middle, he's got Phillips. And Phillips has a first down. Solomon in trouble here, and popped. Kabusi and Warner combining. Here comes pressure. Solomon hitting his tight end, Josh Kern. Ends up. On third and four, edge rusher gets home. 
Comets, Francis Bernard acclimated himself just fine to the defensive side of the ball. And, Eric, and Anu Solomon's got to realize they're going to be one short. They're bringing six. You only got five to protect yourself. So you got to either get the ball. It's hooking. He had the distance, but hooking. So here we go with his second half. And Jamal Williams, who ran for 78 yards during the first half. Pinballs is well. Understand what they have on the next play. On second and five, Hill boots and dumps it underneath. Tanner Baldery, first down across the 35. Decent, decently long time ago, 2013. Out to tournament. They love his speed. The Juco transfer shows some of it and shows some ability to shoot. It's not always easy to do. Straight ahead, Williams. And a big hole with a flag down. Williams steps into the clear. There is a flag down back near the line of scrimmage. Williams pushed out at the nine. 39 yards, but we'll see what the laundry's for. You can read Kevin Mars' lips. Illegal shift. Watch this. He has the vision, vision to see the hole, the toughness to stay up, and then there's the little jump cut. He gets back vertical, then back to the outside. You see he switches the football into the right arm. Yeah, any, any team would miss the productivity of this running back. Arizona brings pressure. Hill double clutches and zips one for a first down. Laolu Potuch. We're back at the collegiate level. You got to stand in there when the pressure's coming. But all that stuff is going on around you and still deliver an accurate football. And watch as Laolo Pututau extends to be able to secure the football for the first down. Look at that. Used every bit of that 6-4 frame. On first down from the 34. This is LG Brown. He's met in the backfield and loses a yard. Jamal Williams back in. He'll take it. And great penetration from Justin Belknap in the pocket. Converted third and 13 earlier on the drive, and on third and 14, they play it safe with a draw. This team from the top 10. Arizona backed into its own end zone again. They're trying to get Nick Wilson. On third down and short, Solomon checks it down. It's Griffey for a first down. Up to the 20. Wilson has a hole this time. Nick Wilson is inside the 30, and finally Arizona. When you're mixing all those numbers. On third and seven, Solomon well protected. It's collapsing, and Kafusi has his first career sack. You we'll see at the top of the screen, Kafusi continues to work, continues to work, and Alu Solomon's got it. That mental time clock has to go off. At the distance from 52, has it from 46. Straight on and good to get Arizona. You grow up playing quarterback, you always see yourself playing it. Or the drop back system. Swings it into the flats. LG Brown ahead of steam across the 30. They get back to penalty yards and then some. Career. So he can always make a bad call right. See what he does on third and one. He keeps it, maintains his balance, gets a first down. Great read. Pressure on second and ten, gets rid of it quickly. And there is Kurtz. On third and one, Hill to throw, sets his feet. Off of the hands of Laulu Pututau, and a big drop makes it fourth. One yards of offense for the Wildcats tonight. Solomon slings it out to Phillips in space. He got away from Micah Hanneman, probably regrets it. Hasn't necessarily been good for Solomon, as far as his production as a passer. Francis Bernard had him in his grasp, couldn't get him. So Wilson has it across the 25. On the ground, Wilson not going to get it. Hardly got him. the 20. BYU's drive begins with Jamal Williams. Williams breaks into the clear. To the 44 on a 37-yard run that puts him over 100 for the night. Extend the drive. It's him again for five more to the after sitting out last year. 
On second down, Hill to throw as a window underneath for Colby Pearson and another BYU game. He also said there was never a doubt he'd be coming back to BYU. Loyalty is big for him. And he gets it here, Jenny, and surges for or still continue to play the zone coverage. They bring only four, so Hill has time. Extends the play. Turns the corner. First down, BYU. Reds as well. And the 22-yard line. Williams keeps the feet churning for seven. Hill keeps. Trinaman gives him a block, but he goes outside of it. Has the first. Laulu Putu to the bottom of the screen. Hill looks his direction. Zips one for Colby Pearson. Touchdown BYU. Off at the top. Hill looking his direction. Back shoulder and broken up. Dane Crooks. His coaches. You think they're having any fun? I think they're having some fun. Two former players. Let's talk about the passion. Watch the talk. Give him a little, little bump, little love nudge. <laughs> Be careful though. You know, and you look at this trip. I don't know what that looks like. Arizona begins from the 25. Solomon rolling, throwing, open man, juggled and held on to by Sean. So on second and ten, Wilson swings out. Solomon steps up, dances his way free. Anu Solomon gets six yards, and Harvey Longi pulls him. Down. Third and four, only three rush. So Solomon has all day. Zips one down the middle for a first down to Tyrell Johnson for the first down. First down run play, and he swings it out. Johnson again. He's got great speed. Absorbs the blow. Split seconds. Wilson has a hole and a first down. Logan Tyle tackles him. There. They blitz it. Those tight ends in there to lead the way for a Wilson touchdown. And here comes Arizona. Utilize both these tight ends. And what happens when you're undisciplined, when you bring pressure or blitz, is all of a sudden you create running lanes. Williams breaks a tackle. Another, and then he's drilled by Fui Maono. And the red shirts rep. Hill underneath Colby Pearson. Open field tackle by Devonta. Second and seven. Pressure leaks through. Solomon retreating and throwing it. Solomon over the middle. It's picked off by Kai Nakua. For the field. Nakua. Able to take advantage as Johnson fell down in the process. Akua, who led the team in interceptions a year ago, had six. He's a ball hawk back there. Does a nice job of reading the eyes of the quarterback. Very opportunistic. The ninth interception of his career from the pistol. On first down, Jamal Williams sports through for six or seven. This time, nowhere to go for Williams. Born, they need a touchdown. His first throw is over the middle and complete to Nate Phillips. They get a chance. It's scrambling. That comes into play. Here comes pressure. It's picked up. Solomon, scramble drill. Eyes downfield. Samaje Grant with a stiff arm for a short gain. On third and three. Wilson straight ahead. First down and more. Arizona takes its first lead of the night. On the two-point conversion. They had the timeout to think about it. Solomon pumps left. Rolls right. Back of the end zone and broken up. And so a field goal would win it for BYU. If you're just joining us, this is your game summary. Jamal Williams, 140 rushing yards. And Arizona... Trailed the entire game until Nick Wilson's 49-yard touchdown run at the 126 mark. Enter Taysom Hill, a minute 20, and a one-point game. Laulu Putu Tao with a stiff arm to get to the sideline, and then he goes.
Hill goes into the short side for Jonah Trineman. Quickly. On third and seven, they rush only four. It's a first down strike to Jonah Trineman. Trineman's got it. He runs a simple slant route. Jason, got to make it harder to complete that pass. A draw play, and Jamal Williams crosses the 25, the 30. Inside the 30, first down to the 26. From the 26-yard line, Williams again. Off to the 20. And really, on second and four. Hill keeps it and has room. Pushed out of bounds after a first down. Play to center it up and call a timeout. Instead, a flag comes out. Could we have a runoff situation? Here's Kevin Moore. start. Offense number 96. BYU has elected to take a timeout to avoid the 10 second runoff. So it's a good thing that they had that timeout left, or Arizona could have run the clock out by virtue of the runoff rule. Mike Pereira, you're with us. Boy, I'll tell you, it's a good thing that BYU had a timeout left because that's the portion of the 10-second runoff rule that allows you to take a timeout to save the 10 seconds. So just the fact that BYU had that timeout left will allow them to have the stopped clock now because of the charge timeout and the field goal attempt. There's nothing like the nerves this young man feels at this moment. And nothing that can pre really prepare you for this moment outside of experience, which he doesn't have. Freshman out of South Lake, Texas. From 33. Right down the middle. His very first moment as a college football player. Squibs it. So they keep it away from Johnson. And Jamar Dre Cobb goes down and allows them to set up whatever they have in that bag of trick. Solomon dumps it off for Phillips. And he's thrown down. The Satake era begins with a two-point win and the most unlikely of heroes in Jake Oldroy. Well, to me, this was a total team victory across the board, and that even includes the coaching staff. A lot of firsts for everyone involved. They did a tremendous job coming up with a game plan to keep Arizona on their heels. Take a gander at the last play. I mean, usually you like to flip the ball back, not even an opportunity. Power just completely wrapped up by Phillips. Look at the excitement. Kalani Sataki said that he gets emotional thinking about what it means to be the head coach at BYU. Rich Rodriguez, opposite emotions on the other sideline. First season opener that he's dropped in five seasons as the head man. And once again, his defense letting him down at the end of the game. Much similar to last year. The defense really struggled. Not off to a good start this year either as BYU was able to amount 415 yards on this defense. Let's go down to Jenny Tapp. Coach, you always said that going back to BYU was going home, and to get your first win in this fashion, what does it mean to you? I'm just happy for the kids. I mean, uh, you know, these guys worked extremely hard. A lot of credit to Arizona. That was a great game, and our fans supported us, so it was, it was an awesome time. When you think about what Taysom Hill did tonight, he obviously came out, was a leader, and then showed such poise in those last couple minutes. What can you say about his play? Oh, that was awesome. I mean, that, he's doing exactly what we thought he would do. And uh, a lot of guys on our team stepped up. We had a freshman to kick the ball, to win the, the game-winning field goal. So uh, everybody stepped up. Our coach did a great job. And um, I'm just really extremely happy for our guys. I just love it. Go Cougs. <laughs> favorite moment from this win? What's that? Favorite moment for you. This has got to be a favorite. The ending, when we won. So that, 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 that was great. We're looking forward. We're going to enjoy this. We're looking forward to the next one. Uh, you know, it's an honor for us to call Utah a rival. So 
Uh, we're excited about that game and uh, looking forward to going to Rice Eccles. Congratulations. Enjoy this. Thank you. Guys. All right, Jenny, Coach Sataki. Final here from University of Phoenix Stadium. 18-16, BYU wins it on an old droid field goal. Now we get you to Rob Stone in Los Angeles for a wrap-up of a busy opening college football Saturday. Take it away, Rob. Man.